Hey guys, it's Tommy with BetterBushcraft.com. Well, I decided to put a uh, patina on my Blind Horse Knives Bushcrafter knife. Um, I was trying not to, just because I liked the way that it looked. Um, but after using it for a while, it started to uh, get its own stain anyways, just by using it. So I decided to put a patina on it. And in the past, I have used uh, apple cider vinegar for my knives to put a patina and also using a potato before and they all worked great and I just saw a video a couple weeks ago about someone using oranges to do the same thing so I thought I'd give that a try so I went out and bought a couple oranges at the local uh, store and I am going to uh, put a patina on it using these now I'm not quite sure how well it's going to do but in the video that I saw it looked pretty cool so I thought uh, why not try it so all I'm going to do is uh, put this knife through these oranges let it sit for a few hours and then take it out and let it air dry and uh, hopefully it'll give a pretty cool effect so what I'm going to do is show you how to do the prep work and then I'll do a follow up showing you how it looks so all I'm going to do is take this orange and cut off the ends that way uh, the whole knife gets uh, access to the orange instead of having that rind you know kind of bumper up and not give it the full effect that it needs so I'm going to put those over there cut this one up real quick and my knife is nice and sharp as always so it's always a plus so that's all you gotta do to prep the oranges now what I'm going to do is just stick the knife right through the center like so all the way up until it gets there I'm trying to make it nice and straight there we go so the whole uh, back end is uh, secure and then I'm going to put this other orange and butt it right through there as well just like so making sure that the whole knife is inside the oranges so I have it bumped up pretty good so there's no gap there it's all the way to the handle and the tip is fully in there as well so I'm gonna let this sit for a few hours and then uh, take it out let it air dry and hopefully it'll put a nice patina on here having some cool etchings on it as well so anyways guys check out the follow-up video to see how it looks you guys take care all right guys so here's the finished product of my knife that I put a patina on using the uh, oranges uh, I think it turned out pretty nice uh, the oranges worked pretty good let me get a close-up in here so you can see it made some cool little uh, markings on the knife I'll show you this side yeah, it pretty much covered all the knife except a couple spots I might go back through and touch those up I'm not quite sure yet or not but anyways guys I was just uh, showing you uh, how to uh, put a patina on your knife using oranges so Hope you guys liked it, and until next time, you guys take care.